Hey everybody, my name is Will Myers and I help you build custom Squarespace stuff, custom components, custom designs in Squarespace and give you the coding knowledge you need to do it yourself. So today we're going to be talking about how do we make these sort of full width video elements. Uh, you could use an image block here instead. I'm using my, my custom video plugin, but you could also use a video block or an image block or any type of element that you want in here. So let's jump into how this code works right now. All right, so where did the design for this come from? Well, coming from publications like New York Times. I think Wall Street Journal has a similar one, but you see these kind of breakout elements like this. So we have our text container stuff up here, and then these images break outside of the, the width of the text of the, this article. Um, and you can see this image here, and I think lower down we have these two images right there. And it's a really nice look. You see this all over the place. And so this is kind of what we're mirroring. Um, and where this code came from, what we're adapting this from is uh, Ahmad Shadid. He has some code right here that shows you how to do some breakout components and CSS Tricks also does. Um, so I'll link to both of those if you're curious about that. All right, so let's look at the code. So we need to target the block, whatever element we're targeting, and we need to pull the width of it to 100% 100% of the viewport width. That's what this VW property is. Then over here, this is the code that kind of centers it back up. And this, we need to make sure it's positioned relative or it is actually a positioned element. Uh, otherwise, we can't use any of these left to right properties. Those wouldn't work. So let's just copy this, come back over to our website and paste it in. Now, of course, we need to target the specific block we're using. So this is our, this is the video block. This is within a code block for me, but this might be an image block for you or a video block or any other, maybe an accordion block, any type of block. Um, I'm using the Heather Tovey block ID, Squarespace ID finder. I'm just gonna grab that and we'll turn it off. And I'm gonna replace this block ID with what I just copied. And boom, now it is out there. But you see, we have a little scroll going on here. Um, and that's because every single Squarespace block has padding of 17 pixels around it. Um, so we, for Squarespace, we need to add in this padding. And I'm going to say 0px right now. And you'll see that will line up. And it's not scrolling to the left or right. However, this 17 pixels gets rid of the padding all the way around. I really just don't want the padding on the left and right edges. I still want it on the top and bottom. So we can use this shorthand property where if we have two values within our padding property, the first one is the top and bottom value and the second one is the left and right value. So that gets rid, that keeps our vertical padding and removes our horizontal padding. Okay, so there we go. Now we'd wanna add it to these other two blocks down below. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I have added it to my other two blocks on here. This is looking all right. Let's go on mobile. And this is looking really good too because it's also pulling full width. I really like that. That's looking really nice and clean. However, it's a little large on these wider screens. So I'm, I'm on a, I think a 15 inch MacBook and that's just really big. I kind of want to set these max width properties on it. However, we can't set the max width on here because we need it to pull the full width. So in Squarespace, what we can do is target, let's go over here and look at the real code. This is kind of the fake code, um, just to tease you a little bit. We can target our Squarespace block content element. Now this element is within every single block. So you have your block level element, then right within it, we have our Squarespace block content. Then within that is everything else. And this is what we can set our max width on. So let's paste that in here. And now you see I've set a max width of two, 1250 pixels with a margin of auto. This margin auto will center it. If you don't have it, it's gonna push all the way to the left. So we need that margin auto there. And now you see as we go full width, it's not gonna get any larger than 1250 pixels. And still as we go down to mobile, it's still gonna be full width. So that's great. Um, and I'll just show you what I was talking about with this Squarespace block content. Let's open up our web inspector, go to elements, grab our targeter and select on uh, this block. So here's our, our Squarespace block. This is the code block. Within every single block, we have this element right there and then everything else is within it. So right up here, here's a text block. Here's our HTML text block. If you drop it in, 
Squarespace block content. So every single Squarespace block has this as the first child element within it. Okay, so there we go. If you want to do, you feel free to grab this code. This is on my website. Um, replace just the block ID with whatever block ID you want to pull full width and then change the max width down here to whatever you want the max width to be. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions and I hope you have a great day.